Hi everyone, this is GKCS. We are talking about amortized analysis today. And amortized literally means taking the cost of, of an operation over an extended period of time. So let's say you're buying a stock. So the stock costs 10 rupees today. Tomorrow it's going to cost you 20 rupees. Day after it's going to cost you 15. And after that it's going to cost you 30. So amortized says that you take the cost of buying this stock over an extended period of time, which is these four. And then you divide it by the number of times you bought it. Right? Pretty simple. It's just the average in a way. So 30, 60, 75 by 4, which is around 19. So the cost of buying this stock was 18.75. And this is what advertised analysis uh, is. So the average cost of this stock is 18.75. The average cost of an algorithm running is analyzed in an amortized way. So let's take a very simple example. Let's take an array list. Okay. Initially you have an array of size 10. The size is 10. Now you're making insertions in this array. So you insert an element, you insert another element, so on and so forth, up till you hit the maximum number of elements, which is 10. Once you do that, what are you going to do? Well, the new element has to go somewhere. So one of the strategies that we can come up with is to just double the size of the array. Okay? And because arrays are fixed, they are they're actually locations in memory, you can't double the size of an array because maybe this part of memory is being used by the processor for something else. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to create an entirely new array of size 20. Right. The array size is now 20 and we are going to take the first 10 elements from here and we are going to copy it over here. Okay. So that's that's one thing and the new element, the 11th element will come in here. Okay. And this goes on till you insert 20 elements. After that, you again double the size of the array to 40 and then to 80 and then to 160 and so on and so forth. You see what's happening here is that you're, you're doubling the size of the array when you're hitting the maximum size of the array. Uh, and so what's happening is every time you insert an element, there are either two things which are happening. One is you're easily able to insert the element, especially if the element is over here or something. Uh, and if you're at the edge, then you have to double the size of the array. Okay. So cost of insertion is either one, or it is the size of the array itself. Because what you're doing is you're doubling the size of the array, that is around two into size, plus opting all the elements from here to here, that is again the size of the array itself. So overall this is three into size, if you do the math. Okay, now how are we gonna analyze the complexity of this data structure? I am telling you that I am going to insert n elements into this array. Okay. These are the two variable costs that we have and we want to find out an amortized analysis of this. But first, before we get into amortized and everything, let's go for simple analysis. The size of the array into 3 is the cost of every insertion. So in the worst case, you have n elements for every operation you are doing 3n operations and therefore n times you are inserting elements each time it is taking you 3 into the size of the array so that is 3n square okay that's the worst case complexity i'll just write it down here order n square this is one way to look at it so in the naive way to calculate things we found order n square to be the expected time complexity of n insertions. But this is this is a very pessimistic approach. What you can do is you can actually uh, analyze it deeper. So let's say initially I have the size of the array as 1. So 1 insertion, no problem. For the second insertion, I have to actually double the size of the array. So let's, let's take everything into account. First time insertion just cost one. 
second time the insertion has to double the size of the array plus I have to copy this element and then insert the new element so that is double the size of the array which is 2 plus this is a new array now of course uh, plus copy the element which is 1 plus insert the new element which is 1 okay so that gives me this new array after which if I need to add a new element again I have to double the size of the array which is 4 so that is four operations plus copy the two elements and insert the new element that is three now you see the magic happening uh, the fourth element can just come in with one shot that is four again after four we need to double the size of the array for the new element so that is this uh, and doubling the size of the array costs us eight plus Copying the elements, which is 4, plus uh, actually adding the new element, which is going to be the fifth element. Now, 6 and 8 just take one operation each. And you're getting just over here. After this, when it comes to, so I'm just going to draw it on the new line, but this is attached, it's the same array. When a new element 9 comes in, the cost is actually creating a size which is double, which is 16 plus copying the old 8 elements into the new array, which is going to be somewhere over here. So plus 8 plus the ninth element being inserted, which is 1. And then you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all of them taking just one operation. Alright? And this is useful information because uh, you're doing the cheaper operations far more frequently than the expensive ones. Okay, and how many times are you actually doing the expensive ones? The first time the array size is one. The second time when you're doubling the array size becomes two. Then it becomes four. Then it becomes eight. Then it becomes 16 and so on and so forth. Up till what size? In the worst case, the number of elements that you have, uh, that you're going to be inserting, is around half of the size of the array. So up to 2n. Why is that? Because when you have inserted all your elements, the only extra space you can have is almost double because you are doubling the size of the array. Right? So the maximum size you have hit is 2n at most. So from 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 up to 2n uh, is, is the size of your array, the, the shifts in your size of the array. Okay? So this is interesting because every time you are doing this, you're doing three times the size of the array cost, which is every time you're doing either just one operation over here, or you're doing three into current size, which is over here. 24 plus one. So three into current size plus one actually. That is an insertion. Okay. So for all of these, what we are going to do is we are just going to multiply this by three and I want to the number of times these operations occur. So all I need to do is just multiply this by 3, add them all up, 4 plus 8 plus so on and so forth up to 2n. And how many times do I need to, what's the size of the series from 1 to 2n? It turns out this is a geometric progression, 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2n, that's, that's because it's going at a doubling the size. So x comes out to be log 2n base 2. Okay, so this is just plus 1 plus 1 plus so on and so forth because of this extra term over there. This occurs log 2n times. Okay, if you don't understand log n, then you can have a look at the video, the previous video, I'll have a link up there on the description below. But yeah, this is this is really really small. So it can be ignored. Okay. On the other hand, this can't be ignored, of course. This sum is again a geometric progression sum. So 2n plus from 1 to 2n, the cost is 2n into 2 minus 1. Okay. This is just a geometric progression sum. Just take my word for it. Uh, this turns out to be 4n minus 1. Okay. And multiplied by 3, because the multiplication of 3 is over here, 
this one turns out to be 12 n right order complexity order 12 n the 12 is a constant it goes away gives you order n time complexity for n insertions in that area of course we haven't taken one thing in consideration which is what happens if it just takes one operation well it's easy because if it's taking one operation and you have n inserts then it's going to be order n plus n so you can you can put 12 n plus n which is just 13 n again the, the constant factor is gone and it turns out the order okay if you again if you don't understand order complexity you can have a look at the video for time complexity analysis it's a pretty interesting concept and wow <laughs> We got it from order n square to order n without changing the algorithm at all, just by doing a better analysis of all the operations. So this is what amortized analysis means. Instead of looking at the worst case all the time, which is actually impractical, you should have a deep understanding of how the algorithm is working, and you can bring it down from order n square. I mean the, the analysis from a poor analysis of order n square to the correct analysis of order n. So now if someone tells you that here's a list, here's an array. And I need to insert elements into this array n times. You don't need to worry about it being an n square operation. It's just order n overall. You know, in an extended period of time, order n time requirement. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write the code for this amortized uh, analysis, and I'm going to be throwing in a few extra challenges while actually coding this. So now we are writing the code for this, and what we have is a main function but apart